About 30 people gathered Sunday to learn about Saline in the Civil War. The Saline Area Historical ago, Society program began and, uh, at Stone Arch, where Bob Lane gave a presentation then, on the Battle of Antietam, the, uh, where several Saline soldiers were known to have fought. Seceded from the U Following the presentation, the group made its way down Henry Street to Oakwood Cemetery, stopping along the way to view historic homes, including one built by Saline's founder, Orange Risden. Once at the destination, the guests were warned about ghosts who'd been seen at the cemetery. Here and just ignore them because most probably you'll be hearing a little bit from them later on. The group visited the vault, which was once used to house bodies over the winter until the ground thawed. Out front of the vault, there was a list of veterans buried at Oakwood Cemetery. So far, local historians have discovered up to 35 Civil War soldiers buried in Oakwood Cemetery. Two from the War of 1812 have been found, and one from the American Revolution. Bob Lane, playing General Ambrose Burnside, the Union General at Antietam, led the tour around the cemetery, stopping at the graves of Civil War soldiers like James Monroe Rouse. He was in the uh, captain of a naval ship. In 1866, he was discharged. He went into the, the diplomatic corps, and he stayed uh, mainly in Canada, in French Canada. If you look down where we he noted the similarity Park, between the setting at Oakwood Cemetery as it overlooked Curtis Park and in Tietum. Charge up a hill just like this. This is where the Confederates would have been lined up down there, and they would have been shooting and picking off the Union soldiers as they tried to come across the bridge on the other side of the river. And then he spoke of Webster Ruckman, a Lodi Academy graduate, killed at Antietam, September 17, 1862. Then ghosts appeared. First, Anne Hodgkin, the wife of Francis Hodgkin, Civil War veteran and friend to Ruckman. Webb was our uh, he was our best man at our wedding. They enlisted in the war together. They fought in the same company at Antietam. And they almost died together. My Frank was the lucky one. He was wounded and he survived. Webb didn't. We farmed <clears throat> out on Old Chicago Road, just about a mile and a half west of town by the Dell family, and, and you can still see the old home there. We didn't celebrate our ninth wedding anniversary in April of 71, because we buried our three little daughters. Mary, who had arrived about a year after Frank came back from the war, was followed by Emma and then Ella. But they all died within five days of each other in uh, April. They're buried over here by their grandparents, Grandma and Grandpa Hodgkin, but there is no marker. Later that same month, our little Frank came to us. He was born, and he brought joy back into our home. About three years later, Ernest came, and they both grew to be strong and healthy boys, and they were a big help to their father. The then Timothy Nutting, who moved to the South to begin a music school and found himself in the Confederate Army that was fighting his friends from the North. I've been afraid to show my face in town. I'm not sure if everyone understands my role in this war. I was very surprised to see you in a Confederate uniform. Your, your family never spoke about you after you left. Unfortunately, I was caught on the wrong side of the line. I'm a professor of music. I lead the band. A very safe role for me when fighting possibly against my fellow leaders. I was able to get back to the north along with my family and was not very well received in town. I'm sorry to hear that. I know that my Frank would have loved you no matter what. We paid an ultimate price, like many of our fellow friends here. My wife, returning to Michigan, had to sell our home in Mississippi and raise an additional $400 to get back north at the cost of two of our children. 
part time. The Websters. I recall him well. Younger than me, but a very, very good boy. Glad to see he's returned to Selene. He's one of the few. Yeah. Most of them were buried on the battlefield. And finally, the ghost of Henry Green, a War of 1812 veteran who reflected upon the service of Ruckmund and others in the Civil War. Well, we married the War of 1812. I went in as a soldier at age 18. I fought, went to war, because the British were coming back, the Canadians were coming back, they're allowed to come through, and I fought at the Battle of Sharkey's Harbor, and that's where the St. Lawrence River comes in to Lake Ontario. The British brought a whole bunch of ships in, and this was a couple, the year before I joined and a lot of people lost their lives at this particular battle that they had. That same thing happened here. The, the dispute over slavery. I saw during the War of 1812 that they burned, the British came in and burned down the Capitol, or the, what, the, the President's place in D.C., Washington, D.C. It was a very terrible time. Washington was again being threatened all over the matter of slavery and the people from the South. We didn't, didn't like that. I was too old to go, but I'm glad the young people stepped forward. Here we go. For the Celine Post, I'm Tran Longmore.